Welcome to another edition of Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host. And today we're going to begin a series about the Crystal Report's basics. So uh, here and there, over the next number of weeks, we'll be looking at just uh, a number of things related to Crystal Reports, uh, all of them in and of themselves, not complex, uh, but when taken together, a sizable amount of information. So today we're going to focus actually on getting a connection. So uh, as you can imagine, I have SAP Business One running here in the background. Uh, so we will want that just because we'll uh, take a look at something we can do uh, rel relative to Business One and Crystal Reports, of course. Uh, but I'm going to uh, start up Crystal Reports and take you through some basic fundamentals here about um, getting a connection to the Business One database with Crystal Reports uh, Designer. So the Designer, of course, is a separate installation. And when it is installed, uh, it installs in the Business One directory typically. Uh, so it is there with um, SAP and all of its icons available. As you can see, I've arranged it in Windows 10 that I have them all here uh, in one location. So just clicking on the Crystal Reports icon will open up the designer for me. And I want you to uh, also notice something else once we get a report established, uh, just uh, so you'll know about the SAP Crystal Reports add-in if you don't already. So today we're going to do it in a very manual basics basis, excuse me. So once the designer here is open and the main screen, you have a start a new report section. And I'm just going to choose a very basic format to create a blank report <clears throat> just from scratch. So I'm clicking on blank report. And here I am taken to the database expert. Now, Crystal Reports remembers all oh, the last, uh, you know, 10 or so connections, but none of them are live. I know they're not live because there's no little electrical plug on any of them, so I have to create a new one uh, to, to start this particular report. And that's really the emphasis of this little lesson today. So here we go uh, with that. And let me just open up something. There we are. So to create a new connection, I just click on this little plus sign right here. And you see there's lots of different types of connections uh, that we can have for other data.